All right. We are back live at Hands On Health in Cary, North Carolina. We're doing the foot reflexology demo because it is foot reflexology. No, it's not. It is World Reflexology Week, mm -hmm. which includes foot reflexology as well as hands. There are techniques for the face, for the ears. Uh, I've even seen some reflexology techniques for the tongue. So it's all encompassing of the extremities of the body. And a lot of times people get really into the fact that they have pain in the feet and they think that foot reflexology is only good for that, only good for pain in the feet. But reflexology is a full body holistic therapy. It is very much a mind body experience, a mindfulness experience or practice as well as a technique that feels good on the feet and helps the feet move and become flexible and improves blood flow in the feet all throughout the body should have positive effects from foot reflexology. And it's real easy to get caught up when you start looking at a reflexology map or a chart that shows a bunch of body parts and organs and tissues and specific areas labeled out on the feet. It's real easy to start self-diagnosing. And this practice is not about diagnosing specific things. It's much bigger picture. We're trying to relax the body, trying to turn on parasympathetic nervous system, meaning resting and digesting and restoring, healing the body, as opposed to fight or flight, which has a lot of stress hormones surging through your body. We want to rebalance and come back to a more peaceful state of mind, less stress, better movement. Stress management is really the purpose of reflexology. The goal of reflexology is to relax the body and let the receiver's body do the work of healing. And the client's brain is gonna be doing work to figure out the best possible way to create balance in all of the tissues. I can't possibly know all of the things that my client's body needs to do where are all of the stress points and where are all of the places that need specific nutrients or more blood flow or better hydration or uh, more stability or less stagnation. Like it's just way too complicated for me to know and I don't need to know because the body is intelligent and will heal itself once it realizes that the noxious stimuli from the environment, from the world around them is taking a break and nice things are happening. Calming, relaxing things are happening. And the feet and the hands are a great gateway to get to that point in the body. To flip that switch, change your entire mood even. There are, uh, there's mounting evidence about the mental health 
benefits of reflexology in terms of lowering anxiety, improving depression symptoms, improving sleep quality, quality of life scores, lowering general fatigue, a lot of good stuff, a lot of good science coming out that's backing up what reflexologists have been talking about and studying and observing for decades now. I started out my uh, career in body work as a deep tissue massage therapist, doing myofascial release, neuromuscular therapy, a lot of sports massage and stretching. I work on a lot of athletes, like dancers and runners, triathletes. And the thing they have in common is that their feet are in pain a lot. Their bodies put a lot of pressure on their feet to perform. So I came at foot reflexology after about 12 years of intensive deep tissue pounding on the body with my elbows and arms. And I was amazed that that wasn't really necessary all the time. A lot of work can be done with nuance and gentle pressure on the feet or the hands to start encouraging movement and encouraging better blood flow and encouraging optimal performance of different areas of the body without having to use my brute force and try to force something to happen. When the body feels like it's being attacked, it's going to start putting up walls and barriers. And that's the opposite of what I want. I want open, flowing, fluid movement of the body. So it's been fascinating for me to become a reflexologist and get extensive training in that. So I could have a, a whole nother layer of information about how the body works, how the body moves, how the tissues and organs and different systems of the body all interrelate and coordinate together in a seamless, coordinated, smooth way to make movement happen. It's a lot of moving parts, so to speak. A lot of neurological information, a lot of fascial information, constant physics, constant calculation by the brain of where we are in space, how we're moving, what's it going to take to continue doing what we're doing in terms of resources in our body, nutrition inside our body, the feet are communicating a lot of information to the brain about what's the terrain like? Is it safe for us to be where we are very long? Is there a better way to move so that we'll be more efficient in what we're trying to accomplish? And all of this vast amount of information is going so fast, we can't possibly consciously think about all of those calculations and physics and force and movement and adjustment that happens in real time all the time that we're awake and moving and on our feet. It's incredible the amount of uh, different things that are going on inside our feet and our nervous system, and ultimately the brain calling all the shots of what's going on.
Right now I'm working through some of the arm and shoulder reflexes because my client is a massage therapist who works with her hands all day and arms and shoulders. So I'm trying to make sure there's balance in the tissues, there's not any major restrictions of movement. I can bring attention to that zone of the body with the brain. I can kind of point to it and say, hey brain, is that the best way the shoulder can possibly be? Is that the most efficient it could be, the most healing that it needs? Is it going to move the best that it possibly can? And the brain is, in theory, saying, everything that that joint would need or redirecting resources to the area or changing some of the physics of how it sits in space. It's also been fascinating for me coming from a background of massage therapy and adding on foot reflexology well into my career. Um, working with a bunch of fellow massage therapists and incorporating it into our practice here at Hands On Health in Cary, North Carolina, we have a team of very well-trained, experienced. Uh, we're all licensed massage and bodywork therapists in the state of North Carolina. And we all have different strengths and expertise and backgrounds. And we all come at this from a very clinical medical massage kind of mindset. We work well with uh, medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, osteopaths, all kinds of other practitioners to support our clients to get the best possible healing that they can. So I've been able to kind of take this extra layer of information and learn a lot from my coworkers by um, looking at the body from several different directions and perspectives, whether it's myofascial, whether it's neuromuscular. Uh, we have a couple of uh, prior athletic trainers on staff who see the body a lot differently than I ever would have approached the body from my background in training. Uh, we have several people on staff who are really into yoga and movement and uh, that whole perspective, which is very different than what I was taught from a very clinical myofascial background. So pretty much any condition or fitness goals or body movement that you're trying to accomplish, somebody here should be able to give you some insight in how to improve. And if not, we have a network of other practitioners of all different kinds. Again, chiropractors, PTs, uh, doctors of all kinds who we work well with and coordinate with to figure out how to get you what you need as a client. So 
if you have any questions about reflexology or about body work of any kind that I've talked about, please uh, leave a comment or send us a message or give us a call. And we are happy to try to match you up with the best possible practitioner for your needs. I am going to wrap this up. My name is Tom Maxson. I'm a nationally board certified reflexologist and a licensed massage and bodywork therapist in North Carolina. And I practice and teach at Hands On Health in Cary, North Carolina. Thank you all for watching and we look forward to hearing from you soon. I mean it into that.